for this week's penultimate installment of Obscure Characters Month, we're locking our sights on the enthusiastic young Autobot sharpshooter, Moon Racer. Moon Racer was an original character created for the Transformers animated series in 1985. She was one of the first female Transformers introduced into the franchise, and appeared in just one episode, The Search for Alpha Trion. An expert markswoman who transformed into a Cybertronian car, she was the excitable, overeager junior member of an underground team of female Autobots who had remained on Cybertron after Optimus Prime left the planet, waging a guerrilla war against the Decepticons there. During a raid on the Decepticons' Energon storehouse, the impetuous Moonracer got herself caught in a booby trap. Though she was able to escape with the aid of her teammate Chromia, the delay caused by her misstep allowed the Decepticons to track the female Autobots back to their secret base. The villains demolished the base, trapping the female Autobots in the wreckage, until Moonracer hit upon the idea of using the Energon cubes they'd stolen earlier to blast their way to freedom. The group then joined forces with an Autobot unit who'd come from Earth and defeated the Decepticons in battle. In the process, Moonracer was reunited with her old flame Power Glide, but she was unable to accept his offer to join him on Earth, knowing it was more important for her to remain on Cybertron and continue the fight there. As a creation of the cartoon, Moonracer wasn't represented in the original 1980s toy line. She would spend nearly 20 years in near total obscurity, with her only further appearances coming in the form of tiny cameos in one-page comic strips packed in with Japanese-exclusive model kits of RC and Elita 1 in 1996. She almost made a return in Dreamwave Productions comic books in 2004, in a storyline that would have seen her and the other female Autobots appear as agents of the evil alien Quintessons, but the company went out of business before the story could be published. Behind-the-scenes troubles continued to plague Moonracer in 2005, when the official Transformers convention Botcon attempted to produce a toy of her. The figure was a recolor of the Transformers Energon RC toy in Moonracer's minty colors, and transformed into a motorcycle. But after it had been designed, it was discovered too late that the trademark on the name Moonracer was unavailable at the time, and consequently, the toy wound up having to be sold as a new version of Chromia instead. Years later, however, the Transformers Collectors Club was able to put the Botcon toy to its intended use, in comics published between 2010 and 2011, in which Moonracer featured, drawn based on the toy's appearance. These stories, set on Cybertron in the early days of the war, credited Moonracer's youthful, impulsive personality to the fact that a key upgrade to her system had never been finished after it was interrupted by a Decepticon attack, arresting her development. She served as assistant to the Autobot sage Alpha Trion, and aided the Autobot Elite Guard in battle. It was only a tiny role, but it was still the most significant thing Moonracer had done in 25 years. And as the 2010s continued, she slowly racked up more and more of these little appearances. The guidebook, The Covenant of Primus, mentioned her as a member of the Autobot commando unit, The Wreckers, in the era before the war. She featured in the mobile game, Transformers Legends, and she even popped up in the tiniest cameo possible in the Robots in Disguise cartoon. But far and away Moonracer's biggest role during this time came in the pages of IDW Publishing's comic books, into which she was introduced in 2015. In this continuity, Moonracer hailed from a long-lost Cybertronian colony on the planet Velocitron, a world whose entire society revolved around speed and racing. Moonracer disliked her planet's myopic, insular society, and she pushed back against it by defying convention and racing outside of Velocitron's huge moving cities. When Cybertron finally re-established contact with its colonies, the notoriety Moonracer's stunt had earned her led to her being chosen as one of Velocitron's ambassadors to the planet. 
Believing that allying with Cybertron would bring the change Velocitron needed, Moonracer went behind her fellow ambassador Knockout's back and provided the Autobots with information on a major upcoming Velocitron race, allowing Autobot speedster Blur to enter and win, dazzling the crowd and convincing Velocitron's populace to join forces with Cybertron. The reunited planets then established the Council of Worlds to govern interplanetary affairs, on which Moonracer and Knockout served as Velocitron's representatives. In 2018, the first true Moonracer toy was at last released as part of the Power of the Primes line. The figure was a combiner, able to convert into either an arm or a leg to merge with any compatible toys in the series to form a giant robot. Specifically, Moonracer could combine with her fellow female Autobots to form the towering Orthia. The release of this toy increased Moonracer's profile further, earning her appearances in more mobile games. And in 2020, she made a proper return to TV screens in Netflix's War for Cybertron animated series. Tragically though, her role in this show was a brief one. She was part of a group of Autobots searching for the mystical Allspark in the Sea of Rust, where she was set upon by an army of zombie Transformers and torn limb from limb. Well, that's maybe not the most inspiring point on which to end this story of an obscure character who's slowly been increasing in recognizability over the last few years. But like the waxing of the moon, hopefully bigger and brighter roles await Moonracer in the future. And those are the basics on Moonracer. Tell me your thoughts on her in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe for more Transformers history and lore, like next week's final entry in this year's Obscure Characters Month, which you'll be able to get early access to if you support the series on Patreon. 